Hi guys and welcome to another IBM BPM technical tutorial. In this uh, edition we're going to look at a, a puzzle that was posed by uh, a BPM user on the forum and what they had was an array of data and they wanted to show each of the items in that array of data and to the right of that item they wanted a button and when the button was clicked they wanted to know which item in the array of data was selected. So here's the array of data and when we click on an arbitrary button we want to know which of the associated items was clicked. Alright, so that's the puzzle. So to start the solution of this puzzle we asked ourselves what does an entry in the array of data look like? And I've defined it to be a business object, I'm going to call it item where the business object is composed of fields, which are the fields of data we're going to show on the screen. So I've defined one field called text, and that is going to be the text field that we're showing here. I've artificially added an extra field of data, which I'm calling flag. And flag is a boolean, and flag will be bound to the button that is going to be used to select that row of the data. We'll come back to that in a second. Next I wanted to, or I created, a new human service. And my human service contains within it a variable, and the variable is called data, and data is a list of these items. I initialize that data with the values for the, uh, the, the items that I want to display to the user and I initialize each of the flag fields to be false. In my coach for the screen I have horizontal sections where the horizontal section is bound to the array of data. Each horizontal section is composed of a text field and a button and the text field is bound to the corresponding current item of the data as is the button and the button is bound to the flag field of the data. Because this horizontal section is bound to an array of data the horizontal section is repeated for each row of the data. Each row of the data knows its current item and binds that data to the current item. Same with the flag field. Now looking at the human service as a whole, when any one of the select buttons is clicked, we go into this handle select JavaScript and handle select JavaScript walks through the array of data. The row associated with the one whose button was pressed will have that flag set to true because when you click a button that is bound to a boolean the associated boolean becomes true. So what I do is I figure out which row was clicked by looking to see which row's flag is now true. That tells me which one is selected and then I can log that to the console or change the screen using that. Of course, make sure you set the flag back to false, otherwise uh, we're going to get false positives in the future. And that's it. That's the core of the story. So the trick to associate a button with data is to realize that when a button is clicked, that any data associated with the, bound, the binding the binding of the button becomes true when that instance of the button becomes clicked. Hopefully that makes sense to you and I felt this was going to be a lot easier than trying to write this out in words. So again, uh, it's a very specialized technique and the technique is determining dynamically which button was clicked on a screen given a repeating set of items. I hope you found some use in this video and I look forward to making more for you in the future. Thanks guys. Bye bye.